Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create a beautiful flag chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have day by sales here. This is pretty small data set. So rather than creating a simple column chart, you can create this beautiful infographics chart and it is quite easy to create in Excel. We will learn step by step how we can create this in Microsoft Excel. What I will do, I'll copy this table and I'll add a new worksheet. Then I will paste this data here. So we will create from the starting. First of all, I would like to remove the grid lines from this worksheet. So I'll go to the view and just uncheck the grid lines. Now select this data, go to the insert charts and then I'll go to the column chart. I'll take the simple 2D clustered column chart. Now here click on this column and then click on this chart elements button, this plus icon. And now I'll go to the error bars, click on this arrow and click on more options. Here in the format error bars window, first of all, I'll choose the direction which is minus. And then I'll choose end style as no cap. And here I'll choose the percentage and percentage I'll take 100% and just press enter. Now I'll go to the fill end line and then I'll take the line as solid line. And the color of the line I'll choose some dark gray, this one. And the width of the line I will choose around 4.5 point. And then compound type, I'll choose the third one, this one which is thick, thin. And just scroll it down. And then the end arrow type, I will choose this one which is oval arrow. Now close this window. Here I will click on this column and go to the format and say fill, I'll choose as no. So the only error bar will be available here. Now I'll select this vertical axis and press delete button to delete this. Now select the grid lines and press delete. So we have removed the vertical axis and grid lines. We will add another series, the same series we will add. So right click and select data and then click on add series and we can add the similar series. I'll tell you the shortcut of adding the series. So just select this data and copy and select this chart and paste over this chart. You can see another series is added. Now select this new series, right click, click on chain series chart type. Now for the second series, which is this orange one, choose the chart as line with markers and click on OK. Now we have a new line chart available here. Now we will insert a shape. So I'll go to the insert shapes and then I will choose this shape under flow chart, which is punch type just click on this and just click here so you can see the shape has been created here now i'll go to the shape style and i'll choose one style from here i'll take this one you can take any other also and i will resize this so make it little bit of a smaller like this and i will copy and paste this and will keep this here so for this second shape, this one we will take as no fill and the shape outline as no outline and select the shape, first shape also right click and make it group. Copy this group and select the line and just paste this here. So you can see there is a stick of the flag is visible. So what I will do just click on this flag and move to the left side around three or four times. And just copy it again and paste this. Now it is looking perfect. Select the line once again, right click, go to the format data series. Here go to the fill and line and choose as no line. Now we will add the data label here. Our chart is almost ready. We want to add the data label like this in the middle of the flag. So what I will do, right click, add data label and select the data label, right click, go to the format data label. Here, just choose the center. Now you can see our data label is not available properly in the center of the flag. So what we will do, 
we will create another column here for data label so here i'm just putting a formula and that is i will use repeat function rept and the text for repeat i'll take single space and number of time i'll put my number in c1 and then close the bracket and just take the sales and just fill this down make sure you have freeze this c1 press f4 and then fill this down now we will take the data label value as this one select this right click go to the format data label here you can see this option available value from cells so friends this option will be available only for excel 2013 or 16 it is not available in excel 2010 or willow version what you have to do you have to change the data label one by one but here i will use this option just select this and then select this range click on ok remove the value from here and show little lines from here make this bold black little bit of bigger now you can see the data label is still not available in the middle of the flag so what i will do i'll put a number here like five then it is available little bit of left so i'll put here 10 or 12 yes so it is looking good now all right so that is how you can create this flag chart in microsoft excel now you can change so rather than creating a simple column chart you can use this flag chart it will be more eye catching you can use it in business presentations or business dashboard i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching